Hello, so this will be a crash course for um, Battle with Mods as a lot of people have uh, struggling with the mechanical power usage and in the end it's not that hard. So let's start with um, <coughs> the vertical windmill for example. It's um, It doesn't matter what you um, use as power source but one power uh, power source is um, necessary. So we start with the vertical windmill, also water, wheel or the normal windmill will do. So what you need is are some axles here. Just put them along the sides. Then you can put your vertical windmill somewhere here normally. Oh, there you go. Um, now you need to connect this vertical windmill with the gearbox. Gearboxes are, are placed down, just right click. Then gearbox has always one input side and five output sides. And you can rotate them with a shift right click um, into the direction of what you need. There we go, that's the input side. And now everything you know, need to know is that there can be three axles in a row. Every fourth axle will be dropped, as you can see here. Um, and then you can just um, yeah, put more gearboxes on it and connect your mechanical power. So the thing is, this power has only two states, on or off. And um, there is no limit how many machines can be placed on this uh, axles. So let's start with, for example, oops, with the saw. That's one power option where I just place the saw and you can place like blocks in front of it and it will break it. You can also kill uh, monsters with it. Also the millstone, everything, uh, every, everyone should know this stupid thing. Um, where you have to place this hand crank around and yeah, this also can um, use can use um, the mechanical uh, power But you only have this spot on the top to get it there So now the problem is we can't get the energy from here to here as um, We need um, a proper way with gearbox and one axle. So this would mean We need at least come on this gearbox here and we place it like this for example and then we see oh that, no okay that, that doesn't work either. What does mean is we need another axle here, axle here, gearbox here and we just connect this and then we turn it how we need it. There we go and now the millstone should be working. Just some hemp and we can clear it hemp in and it will work. So that's second, uh, the second thing. Now the third. We need, um, for example, the turntable. The turntable um, has its input on the bottom. So this would mean we can also do it like the same. Three. Um, the true gearbox. There we go, that's the turntable. Turntable can uh, be used to create uh, useful stuff from clay, for example. The speed can be changed by right clicking it, so it will become slower as you can see. Um, and another very, very useful thing is that it can be used as a timer. That means if you put a stone and a redstone, redstone torch here, you can see this um, turntable will, will um, turn around um, the redstone torch. And yeah, as you can see, the speed will, this will make it fast or slow. So your redstone timer will hold this uh, the redstone signal for more or less time. Now, as you can um, use this as a timer, um, we can get into the hibachi. So normally you have this great crucible 
wait, mods crucible, and you also have um, the cauldron, which which can be used um, to create um, yeah useful useful items. So in first place, we need to create the crucible. That's with the kiln and kiln. Yeah, as you can see, the tooltips are really helpful. Normally the kiln is really easy to create. You normally just need some bricks, like five of them, that's the minimum. And yeah, the easiest way to get it going is, for example, this, this. So, this is a kiln. It's not beautiful, but it's a kiln. So, and with this kiln you can um, just put your uh, crucible inside the unfired one and yeah no, now you, you need a fire that's the fire can get from hibachi that's that one hibachis will um, correspond to a redstone signal just give it a redstone signal and it will burn so normally this um, should be enough I'm not sure um, to get the crucible um, burning, but as you can see, it's it's not enough. Oh, that's that's not good. Okay, now what what we need to do is to get this normal flame to a stoked flame. Stoked flames are blue. So in order to get it to blue flame, we need a bellow. So there are two bellows: the normal one and the uh, spring action. The spring action um, is available later on. It will um, like do the timer stuff automatically. So, now bellows. So, as you can see, the bellow has some an up and output side. And you can just use the bellow uh, with a timer and mechanical energy to like breathe. So, that means that we just add, a, for example, um, gearbox here and then we just need to um, get our power to the gearbox the easiest way would be like something like this and the gearbox again the budget we don't need it anymore so like this and then we just power going so whew. okay now the problem here is if the bellow gets energy, then yeah, it will like get uh, air for one time, and then it will stay in this form. So what we need to do is get a um, redstone signal to one of the gearboxes that is connected to the bellow, and this redstone signal will provide some kind of um, air yeah, timing signal. So the easiest, so one of the easiest way would be just get the redstone signal from. Um, from the stone table somehow down um, to this place. So this should already work hopefully. So now this can be become a bit slower. Even more slower. I'm not sure if, if I need um, a repeater here. So my redstone knowledge isn't that bad, uh, that good. Yeah, that's working. As you can see, um, this, I'm not sure why it's, why it's turning around, but okay, that's, that's the thing. Um, now you can see that this bellow is like, kind of breathing. It sometimes gets the signal and then the signal is, is, is off again and the signal is on again and so on. And now we have this beautiful blue frame and as you can see here the crucible is firing. So that's what we need to do. So and now as you um, have this great um, stoked flame you can al already use it um, for the cauldron. So you don't need this kiln anymore for example then you can use it uh, for the cauldron. This cauldron is now a stoked flame. Or you can use it for the crucible. 
There we go. And then you can use it um, to make a crucible with a stoked flame. And as you can see, the crucible has two recipe sets, one with a normal flame and one with stoked flame. Also the same as um, for the cauldron, normal flame and stoked flame. Yeah, um, I think that's really all you need to know about how the whole energy system is working for Battle with Mods. I'm not sure if there are other... Ah, yeah, the pulley. The pulley is also a thing. A thing. It's some kind of, uh, yeah, elevator system where you can give it energy and it will pull it up. Or you can just um, give no energy and it will like, rub it. And it's like a pulley and then you have, like, the pulley has some, some hemp ropes and the hemp ropes are connected to this anchor and the anchor is connected to a platform. That's really all you need to know. I hope this crash course um, is everything you need to know to get um, a bit more familiar with Battle with Mods as it isn't really that hard, but you need to know how. So, I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, I hope to see you next time. See you.